Hey folks, how's it going? Well, uh, I have to uh, admit, uh, I have to confess to something. Uh, I had already done this video and was all happy with myself and thought everything was fine. Uh, but what I didn't do was actually make sure that the recording was being done. And I actually turned it off. So I'm talking away and everything, but you don't hear me saying anything. It's kind of like this. And there you are. So I, um, you know, sat down and uh, did this little painting. And that was after I had finished the uh, Inktober situation. And, oh, sorry, my bird is crazy. Hey, any chance? Nah, probably not. Uh, so we'll just keep talking. But uh, what I was going to say is that, uh, yeah, after I had finished Inktober, I thought to myself, I just want to sit down and just kind of let go. Right? Uh, so I did. I sat down and a uh, little piece I did is kind of looks like a motherboard or um, I don't know. It kind of had a gondola feeling to it. Had a couple of things there, but I just kind of let it happen. Right? And then just added color. I wanted to do the grays first and then kind of slowly add color into it and see what happens so that it come to life. I uh, used the gold pens and the uh, silver pens and it was fun. It was really a lot of fun. And uh, so I really enjoyed it. So I hope that uh, you guys will enjoy it. And also, um, I actually talked through this one, which uh, I have not done before. So that was kind of fun. Or, I, well, I have, but I'm, I'm going to try to get better at doing that. Um, I think people like it when I chat. Oh, you know what? Guys, please let me know. Right? So if you're watching it and you think, oh, I like it when he talks, you know, and says well, what he's thinking or feeling, that'd be great. Um, otherwise, uh, if you don't mind, uh, hitting the old like button, uh, bell for notification and, uh, subscribe, right? Of course. Uh, and I will talk to you guys at the end of the video. Normally I sit down and, uh, I put uh, some music over top of what I'm going to do. And, uh, this time I decided not to, I thought, well, I'm going to talk to you a little bit while I'm doing this. Uh, what it was, was that, uh, Inktober was finished. And I thought to myself, oh, my gosh, all that gray and white. Uh, it kind of really exhausted me. So I thought, well, I'm going to first start off by doing it in the gray and the white, uh, which I love. I think it really is a lot of fun. I really like doing this. But then I thought, I'm going to add color. Kind of just let everything go. I didn't really want it to be a um, forever situation, right? So it's really been cool. And basically all I did uh, was just water down some black Indian ink and that. So I, I do that. Uh, and then I just kept using it in different tones and grays and that. And uh, so I started what I would look like <clears throat> kind of a motherboard, to be honest. It's kind of what it looks like. And uh, so as I worked away, I thought to myself, well, once I'm finished and I feel comfortable with it, I then will start to add some color. And now you can see, basically, I added some blues. Uh, I tried that out first, and it was going really, really well. I liked it. Um, then I just kept on working on it with different colors, kept changing. But as I say, I did the background first in the blue. Uh, different tones, different looks, just to see if it might cause some depth and some shadow with the actual painting. Um, it was okay. It was working, but it's not exactly perfect the way I wanted it. So I knew that I was going to have to add more later. And that wasn't that big of a deal either, right? And like I say, this is um, done in uh, fast time, right? So it's whipping by here. But I, like I say, it really helped me in kind of just releasing the whole month of October out of me, right? I needed to uh, do something different. And uh, so it was fun. And like I say, you get some background going in there. Uh, and this, oh, I worked on this on a uh, cardboard. It's actually a recyclable cardboard. So it was really nice to work on. So it was kind of like a, I don't know, a cheap kind of uh, watercolor paper in a sense. It worked really well that way. Um, yeah, sometimes you get a little uneven in the uh, bleeding, but not that bad. And uh, I kind of like the whole uneven bleeding aspect in my work when I'm doing stuff like this. So as I say, I just kept on adding color, um, which was an acrylic ink which I used also with the background too. And, the, and then you'll see as time goes by, I start to add in different situations. Um, I realized that uh, I wanted my picture to be a little bit bigger, so I just added a little bit more gray and black. 
Um, and then as I do is I let it dry and then I get back onto it again, added the background, the blue and that. So it really seems to doing a good job. And as I say, um, the weather's been extremely nice lately. I noticed that too. It's going out and standing out in the sun there today. And it's, wow, it's beautiful. So now you can see where I'm starting to add color. Now, uh, when I add color, I'll, I'll try different things, different darknesses and, you know, a little bit thicker, a little bit thinner. I'll uh, take my paper towel and dab it onto it so I can pull away. That. But uh, I think it's it looking pretty darn decent. And as I say, I just kept following through and just kept on adding. And uh, it's working, it working out good. I like it. Yeah. So if you have a chance, you know, you should sit down and that just... I know it's so much fun just to let things happen. I uh, used a, um, a white gel white marker on there too, if you can see that, right? Uh, and then just kept going back and pushing more so that I started to look like it was something. I kind of like the idea that uh, even if it's like a little square block or something, it has kind of its own life to it in a sense. So the overall picture um, has this kind of, I don't know, maybe some futuristic gondola type deal going on there. And that's what it looks like, to me anyways. I just realized I'm not wearing my good glasses, so I'm actually, everything's blurry right now. Oh yeah, that, that's better. That's far better. Oh my gosh, I can actually see stuff going on. Yeah, so I just kept on grabbing the, uh, the acrylic inks. Um, go over tops, so like you say, I take my paper towel, I tap, dab it. Um, that way also I'm a little bit sometimes I'd like to uh, just get working on the next piece. But I would say that in the overall, I sat down probably for a good hour or two working on this piece. Maybe, maybe even a little bit longer, I don't know. Um, I didn't time myself on this, but I just thought I would. And then pff, I never do, right? But uh, yeah, see, so it kind of has this motherboard. And then, like I say, there it looks kind of like a city, but a little gondola in the middle that's traveling around. And I don't know, people or creatures or, you know, Martians are running around in this little contraption, futuristic land. <laughs> uh, again, using the uh, white. Oh, and then I started adding the gold and the silver pen. And I really like that. A really nice accent. And again... It uh, causes, and then I started adding little wires in the background. I thought that, you know, it'd be kind of neat to see the connection through the whole thing and that. And then as I, as I worked it, um, I, I would pull away, look at it for a little bit. Um, and then I, I noticed that, yeah, I liked the little wires going through it. So I just kept adding. And then this little corner up here onto the right, I didn't like it. Um, I needed it to be heavier over there. It needed it to, uh, look more solid so I, I just kept on adding and seeing how it would look and then pull away and then pull the put the paper towel on it and it finally started hitting the colors that i liked and that um and then again i just grabbed it with a silver pen right kind of gives it a little bit more life in there right? so yeah pretty happy with that and uh, some dots on it and again back to the old gold pen right and then back into the small wires in the background and then I realized that there wasn't, it was a little unbalanced. So I needed to add again into the corner onto the left hand side this time, uh, just to kind of make it right. And that, yeah. And I think something like this, it's kind of amazing that uh, when you frame it, it really does turn, turn out pretty sharp. And that I didn't frame this, uh, I might later. And that, but at this particular time, I just had it just the way it was. I was just doing it basically kind of relieve a little bit of stress and that, which I think this type of drawing for me is always the way it works. Um, it doesn't matter if it's faces, if it's little blocks or little animals, and it just keeps on going and going and going. I love it. And plants, weird plants and stuff like that. So it's kind of my thing. So I really, really enjoy it. I hope, you know, like if you guys like this kind of stuff, let me know, right? Because I just, you know, I'll, I'll do more of this type of thing. But right now, you know, this is what I've been doing and I kind of enjoy it. It's fun. Right? So I think I uh, basically signed it at the bottom and I am done. Thanks, you guys, for watching.
so there you are. I uh, finished my little piece there. I uh, got to be honest, I uh, I enjoyed it. It really, really does kind of take you out. Uh, it took all the grays out from the whole month of October and then added the colors back in, right? And uh, yeah, just, I, I don't know what it is about doing those type of little paintings that make me happy. Uh, well, it's actually like any of my art that I do. I just generally seem to always be happy. It's the process. Uh, at the end of it, sometimes I just look at them and eh, whatever, but it's the process and the feel. And I think that's a, a great thing. If you are a person who does art or writes or whatever it is, just let that happen. Let that feeling happen. Let it push out of you, right? And uh, I think you'll enjoy your whole day, your life, you know, whatever. So, um, what is it I always say? <gasps> Be cool like a big bull moose. And remember to wear your pants. <laughs>